in New York City. Ariel Agami alongside Primo Bellarosa, and there is the man known as Kuko entering the ringway, rousing applause from the lower Manhattan crowd. And you know, Primo, anytime you get an Aaron the Ghost Fisher fighter, you can expect a big cheering section and big punches as well. They will be tough. There will, there's no way that one of Aaron Fisher's fighters gets put in the ring and they are not battle tested. He will be tough, I guarantee. Well, for the introductions to our first bout of the evening, we'll send it up to Mr. Connor Hall. Amateur full rules Muay Thai title in the 170 pound weight class. Fighting out of the red corner, he's wearing, wearing the red, white, and blue trunks and weighing in at 169 pounds. He represents Henzo Gracie with a record of five and one, one by way of knockout. From Bronx, New York, John J O B Velasquez. And fighting out of the blue corner, he's wearing the white trunks with the black trim and weighing in at 169 pounds. He represents King's Thai Boxing with a record of seven and four, two by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen from Bronx, New York, Jay Rodriguez. Gentlemen, we know the instructions in the dressing room. We're on a nice, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. In case for the knockdown, go to the neutral corner I tell you to go to. Remain next I call you out. Any questions over here? Any questions over here? Fight fair, fight hard. Touch them all. The final instructions from our third man in the ring, Chris the Cannon Wagner, as we get set to begin. An outstanding night of Muay Thai and kickboxing action on Friday Night Fights. The longest running Muay Thai series in North America, Ariel Agami alongside the great Primo Bellarosa, the head coach of Vision Quest Muay Thai. We're about to see a 170 pound championship matchup for the ISKA New York State Amateur Full Rules Muay Thai title between Jay Cuco Rodriguez on the left side of your screen and the red, and excuse me, the white and black trunks and John Job Velasquez in the red, white, and blue on the right. And an immediate leg kick and attack from Cuco. Rodriguez got on it immediately. And a nice little trip from Rodriguez. He, he, he's not starting slow. No feeling out process here. Haven't seen Rodriguez on this card since back in uh, March of last year, but he did fight in late 2018 and come up with a unanimous decision win. John Velasquez, meanwhile, just fought a month ago, February the 1st, right here in this very ring, he scored a unanimous decision win against Daniel Ramos, and he's right back to work tonight against Jay Rodriguez. And it went 170-pound belt up for grabs here. We're scheduled for five two-minute rounds. Full rules Muay Thai. At the Class B level. Another nice dump from Rodriguez. Really showing a lot of control here. You'll watch him, he'll charge forward, but he throws in combination. Rodriguez originally from the Dominican Republic as he chops down with the elbow on the top of Velasquez's head. He is just well stronger than Velasquez. You can see that he's just, he's muscling him out. Inside leg kick for Rodriguez, who was the shorter man, but so far the more aggressive man. And loading up with the right hand and the right elbow. Gives up four inches to Velasquez, but you wouldn't know it by the way this first round has gone. No, and this is usually what happens. You know, a taller fighter gets used to having, having the advantage in the clinch. So you can see as Rodriguez lands hard punches, Velasquez is looking to get that clinch in order to stop that from happening. And then Rodriguez is just beating him up in the clinch as well. Now Velasquez, Velasquez trying to turn the tables here, but Rodriguez bullies him off. As round one comes to a close, a hyped up Jay Rodriguez, Rodriguez with an impressive first round. Yeah, that was uh, that was a lot of output in that first round. Let's see if he can keep that up through the next four. And always a, a danger, Primo, in these five rounders. Sometimes you, you spend a little bit too much energy trying to trying to get that early stoppage, and it comes back to bite you later yeah, on. Yeah, well, you know, here's the thing, Ariel. Uh, you know, in the United States, all rounds are judged equally. So, uh, you know, I, I, I tell guys, like, you know, you, you got to win every round. 
You're not going to have that that Thailand style necessarily where you kind of go easy in the first two. You got to get on it early, but you also can't blow your wad. That's you know that's where a lot of guys get into problems. They blow their wad. I mean, Rod Rodriguez has you know 11 fights. He should be at a point. He's fighting for a title. He's fighting a five rounder. He shouldn't he he shouldn't blow his wad necessarily. Velasquez on the other side, five and one with one KO to his credit. Rodriguez, as Primo alluded to, has a seven and four mark with two KOs. You can, both of these gentlemen with show stopping power. We'll see if that comes into play here as we are underway in round two and a big right hand from Rodriguez again to open things up. You can see a little bit of an adjustment from Velasquez right there in the beginning. He's trying to hit that team, trying to hit those straight kicks in order to keep his distance. Rodriguez is just powering through it, though. Chris Wagner breaks up the two fighters. Again, we are live from New York City's Broad Street Ballroom with Jay Rodriguez on the attack against John Velasquez. Yeah, you can see right there. That, that wasn't a real, you know, technical dump from Rodriguez, but he just he got a hold of him and he just bulldogged him right to the ground. Velasquez, late kick, Rodriguez shakes it off and charges forward. Kind of a little cross face on Velasquez here is Rodriguez. And it's stifling Velasquez. Yeah. He, is, he cannot get his footing, he cannot... Smart move that cross face from the clinch for a shorter fighter when they're in the clinch. If they can get if they can get the taller fighter's head pushed back, then they then they can take advantage. So smart move from Rodriguez. And John Velasquez fighting out of the Henzo Gracie Academy, trains under Doug Pelinkovic and Joey Hernandez. On the other side, it's Jay Rodriguez representing Kings Thai Boxing in Midtown Manhattan and Aaron the Ghost Fisher. And we'll see another one of Aaron Fisher's prize pupils a little bit later on tonight. Carmen Corchado in the second of our two championship matchups. He'll take on Char Charles E. Maynard out of South Carolina. That is going to be an outstanding bout with a title on the line. But right now, Rodriguez trying to open things up with some hardware. He hasn't slowed down yet. Seven seconds and another dump. I was just saying, right at, the, right at the end of the second round, and, and Rodriguez has not slowed down yet. I mean, what we're looking at right here is uh, Rodriguez is presenting a puzzle that Velasquez has yet to figure out how to solve, you know? He started out trying to be the taller guy. He was getting hit. Let me get the clinch. Rodriguez is throwing him around in the clinch, dominating in the clinch. That was the first round. Second round, Rodriguez comes out, starts throwing straight kicks to try to keep that distance, try to solve that puzzle that way, you know? And Rodriguez just pulled through, kept Velasquez away, got him out of that game plan. And you could see it's it's resulting in punches landed, kicks, get into the clinch, throw some knees, and then get a dump. Impressive start to this fight for Jay Rodriguez. Again, his last fight in the latter part of 2018, while Velasquez has a pretty quick turnaround, fought exactly one month ago on this very promotion, in this very ring at the Broad Street Ballroom. He came away with a unanimous decision win, but right now he's in tough against Cuco, which is basically a Spanish slang word for the boogie monster. And so far, Rodriguez has been a monster against the taller Velasquez. Round three underway. Oh, that hook John. hurt. That hook hurt. You can see every every time Rodriguez lands a punch, it, it pops Velasquez's head up. Rodriguez just unloading right now. He had everything in that right hand that just missed. Velasquez a big target right now, four inches taller than Rodriguez. And Cuco hasn't missed many so far. He's ragdolling him at this point. And remember, this is a 170-pound fight. And Kuko giving up four inches, but he looks a lot beefier than he did at the weigh-in yesterday. Yeah, he definitely put on some weight from the weigh-ins. Nice elbow out of the clinch there. And both these men came in at 169 pounds. But you can tell that's kind of a long Velasquez is kind of the top of his range in terms of weight whereas yeah. Rodriguez probably could go a bit higher as he plays another vicious 
dump on Velasquez, putting him on his rear end. Again, the King's Thai boxing product. Jay Rodriguez wearing the white trunks. John Velasquez, known as Job, in the red, white, and blue. Fighting out of the Henzo Gracie Academy. Yeah, if you watch Rodriguez when he's in the clinch, he just, he's not stopping. He's throwing a knee, he's throwing another knee. He throws an elbow, he tries to switch positions and get a, get a more dominant position. Not a lot of stop. Outside. There's that right hand, that right hand hit. Outside. He's crowding himself. And a three, a three pack of elbows, two of them seem to find a home. Rodriguez in control right now after three rounds. Yeah, at the end of that round right there, Chris uh, Wagner, the referee, really took some time and looked into the eyes of Velasquez. You can see him in the corner now, keeping an eye on Velasquez. And one of our ringside physicians, Dr. Robert Velofsky, taking a close look at John Velasquez right now in the red corner, making sure he is fit to continue. And it doesn't look like he's going to be able to do that. They've, wound, they've waved it off. The Velasquez corner waves the white towel, and Jay Kuka Rodriguez has wowed the home crowd in Manhattan and picked up a championship belt. Yeah, fantastic fight from Rodriguez. I think Chris Wagner did the, did the right thing. Uh, Velasquez was, was just gonna keep taking a beating. Obviously, the doctors looked at him and he didn't see in his eyes that he should continue. And it was actually the, it was actually the Velasquez corner uh, waving the towel. Was so, it? Yes, yes, so they, they wanted their fighter out of harm's way. It looked like Velasquez physically may have been able to go, but I think as you said, Fremo, the right decision there. No need to well, risk I, further damage. I think Velasquez, uh, heart-wise and emotionally, wanted to keep going. Joey Hernandez is uh, Velasquez's coach. He's a very experienced fighter in his own right. He knows what he's looking at. He's a tough guy. He's a, uh, Joey's always been a tough guy himself, a tough fighter. He'll let you fight. If he, if he sees that uh, Velasquez needs to stop the fight, Joey Hernandez made the right decision. Now we just await the official announcement of our new 170 pound champion. Here's Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, come on up here. All right. After three rounds, we do have a winner by TKO, failure to answer the bell. The winner is Jay Rodriguez. So Jay Cuco Rodriguez, flanked by Aaron Fisher and the team from Kings Thai Boxing in New York, as well as the head of the ISKA, Tom Sconzo, picks up a piece of hardware, the new 170 pound champion, the ISKA amateur full rules Muay Thai title winner tonight, a TKO of John Velasquez after three rounds of action at the Broad Street Ballroom. But it won't be the only belt that Aaron Fisher's team has a chance to pick up tonight. Just a little bit later on, we will see Carmen Corchado, one of the deadliest women on the Muay Thai circuit in North America, boasting an 11-1 record. She's already the 125-pound Friday Night Fights champion. She'll have to pick a chance to pick up an ISKA belt as well when she takes on Charles E. Maynard out of South Carolina. That's gonna be a fantastic fight. Corchado is probably one of the toughest women fighter in the tri-state area. I, I, I really enjoy watching her fight. That one just one fight away. Before we get there, we will see Joey Contrada, a Friday Night Fights veteran, going, against, going up against Dionis El Tigre Dume, who is a very impressive fighter. And last time Dume stepped in the ring, Primo, back on December the 14th, he was in an all-out elbow-for-elbow slugfest against Matt the Pool Boy Grant, a fight that could have gone either way. A split decision went to Dume, but wow, that was just non-stop 